Hi folks, this is Eli and welcome to my weather vlog for today, December 25th, 2010. Merry Christmas to all of you out there. And it is a special edition of my weather vlog. We are currently under a win uh, blizzard warning for the Boston area. You are looking at the National Weather Service forecast office from Boston. Uh, this is their page. And this is their forecast map uh, with the warnings and watches and not looks for the area. This is the map that's showing where all of the warnings and watches are. And as you can see, the Boston area, it's under a blizzard warning. Blizzard warning is the orangey color. So that includes uh, eastern parts of Massachusetts. It includes Rhode Island, uh, which obviously it's Providence and parts of uh, Connecticut, Southern Connecticut. Um, we are on the other areas around the area are under winter storm warnings like Southern Vermont, the rest of Massachusetts and Connecticut. We are under a blizzard watch in parts of Southern Vermont, uh, New Hampshire, parts of Southern New Hampshire are under winter storm watch. The Cape is under a um, high wind warning the coast is on the storm warning, so which is this color right here. So there's a lot going on uh, in the area. By the way, this is gale warnings up here. I'm sorry, storm watch up here, and gale gale warnings in, in uh, starting from the Connecticut coast down here. So yes, uh, that has just been updated since we were under a winter storm watch. And the blizzard warnings ha were only up to southern Connecticut. So they have extended. New York City is under a blizzard warning also as of right now. So they ex just uh, extended it all the way up into eastern Massachusetts. So what does that mean? What is blizzard warnings? Well, this is some information I gathered um, that from the uh, weather.com very quick explanation very easy to understand so our blizzard warning is in effect from noon tomorrow to uh, 6 p.m. on Monday and uh, it's for it's just it says states the locations and the has hazard types in other, in other words what's included in a blizzard are heavy snow and potentially damaging winds with considerable considerable blowing and drifting snow and near zero visibilities with scattered thunderstorms with the snow, which means it's like thunder snow may, uh, may be possible. When you get thunder snows, you have an incredible amount of snow, snowfall in a very short period of time uh, when that happens. So that will be interesting if it does happen. Accumulations are expected from 15 to 20 inches of snow. And they do give you a little timeline here. Uh, it should start light snow early tomorrow and then become heavy by evening. And uh, it says heavy snow will throw out throughout Sunday night, with up to two four inch two to four inches of snow per hour likely at times. The snow will taper to flurries on Monday, early Monday afternoon, and it's going to be very windy, obviously. So impacts it's very dangerous travel conditions, um, and blinding conditions with, like I said, near zero visibility at times. So. It's it is it is it's it's going to be a very dangerous situation out outside. So you can see the winds will be increasing from 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts as high as 50 to 60 miles per hour, especially along the coast. That is a tropical storm force winds, which is uh, very strong winds. Temperatures will be in the lower 20 mid mid 20s to lower 30s, so it is going to be cold enough. And the blizzard warning is issued when sustained winds or frequent gusts over 35 miles per hour are expected with considerable falling and or blowing and drifting snow. Visibilities will become poor with wetter conditions at times. Those venturing outdoors may become lost or disoriented. So persons in the warning area are advised to stay indoors. That's how serious blizzard warning is. Really quickly to show you the radar, what's going on right now. It is around 6.27 p.m. on Saturday night. Uh, right now, the snow. This is a storm. This is the east, east, eastern part of the United States. Boston's up here. You got Boston, New York, Washington, and then this is obviously Florida. Um, so the low pressure is around Georgia right now. 
I would say southern Georgia. And they are getting snow um, in uh, northern Georgia, parts of Mississippi. I'm sorry, Alabama, northern Georgia. There's some snow around Kentucky and Tennessee also. Um, parts of western uh, North and South Carolina. And up into Virginia. So, and this snow is actually not reaching the ground up in New York. Uh, the these are this is just Virgo. So, uh, some of this snow is not reaching the ground yet, or it is evaporating because the air is a little dry, so it hasn't moisted up yet. But this snow will spread northward as night goes on. Um, and then in the southern part of the storm, uh, down in Florida, in northern Florida, we got thunderstorms. Um, erupting and there's a line um, right now off the west coast of Florida that has developed so that might have pretty strong storms um, in them right now and that's moving towards the east so Florida residents should watch out for storms overnight tonight and uh, so this is a storm that should come out into the coast a little bit more into the uh, I would say South South Carolina coast and then move up northeast and become the storm that they're predicting. And lastly, a quick look at the satellite right now. And as you can see, this is the storm right here. Uh, they've been predicting the storm for about a week now, and it seems to be coming uh, real as we speak. The storm, as you can see, going through the southern parts, southeast part of the U USA. Uh, uh, southern Gulf states and now it has taken a lot of energy it is taking a lot of energy from the Gulf of Mexico and as you can see these are the storms that are currently popping up and exploding in the uh, along the cold front um, west of uh, Florida so you can see these thunderstorms are right here in the last frames and so the low pressures around here as you can see the clouds are already spreading to the northeast that's an indication uh, usually of where the low pressure is headed so this should become more organized as the night goes on and into tomorrow. So that's about it for to tonight. Um, I will keep you posted and give you the latest in uh, concerning this blizzard. And I will post videos and photos as soon as I can. So thank you guys and you have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye.